we're in what I call Samsung Road, which is up that end, where all the Samsung shops are, you know. So we're just driving along this road. I'll just cross over. Just driving along this road and wondered why the traffic was splitting apart. And honestly, this would only happen in Laos, I reckon. This car has broken down and instead of moving it getting it towed out the road they've decided to do a major fix on it right here right near a roundabout this is one a very busy street road invention and it's just shit itself there they've whacked out a a witch's hat and and a seat just to divert traffic he is lying underneath that car and trusting that people will go around him oh no there's two of them there's another dude here sitting down underneath it <laughs> how crazy is that oh look at that Bentley and you have seen the state of some of the roads around here Some of the luxury cars I've seen here Lamborghinis, Corvettes, Bentleys And then vans like this just stopped in the middle of the road doing a major overhaul only in Laos How you doing guys? Um, we've just offloaded all the goods from uh, the markets. The uh, ute's still down here. And there's a few things we need at the China markets. Well there's one in particular. And I'm going to video it. I know we were just there the other day or a few videos ago. But a particular scriber. Subscriber. <laughs> subscriber. Montana man He was very interested in this uh, Chinese market, so We're going to go there. I'll have a better look around and show you some of the Chinese stuff and the bargains We can get there. How's that sound dude? This is what it looks like in the middle of the day very empty Because it's the middle of the day This thing was only washed the other day. Look at it, it's a bush pig. So I've just been informed it's not the same China market we were at the other day. Mr. Montana. But should be of similar interest, I think. I always like looking around these places. You never know what you'll find. So it was just up there, a couple of hundred metres on the right is where the evening markets were. Where were the other day. And this whole area, this neighbourhood, Nong Duong, is mainly all Chinese businesses for tools, agricultural equipment, um, ground maintenance, farming, as you can see. Whipper snippers, generators, pumps, power tools, just about every shop. I don't know if I've uh, mentioned it before, but Bianchen and most places in Laos, the, the bigger cities, you will find a lot of the businesses stick to uh, certain neighborhoods. So if you're after a particular item, you'll just go to that neighborhood and you'll have all the competitors around it. It's like the electronics area I was in the other day looking for the little mount for a GoPro. Not that I found it there, I didn't. I found it in Talat Sao Mall. But you know what I mean, you know, if you're after a phone, you're not going to find one in this area. 
you'd go over to um, that area. I can't think of the name of the neighbourhood. But that's where you, you'd go for all your phone and um, electronic, tech supplies, TVs, laptops, things like that. But here's another shop here. Give you an idea of um, the stuff. Now most of the business are just roll the door, shuttered front shops. And even on over the other side, around here, all up here, they're all just the same type of businesses selling different um, different brands and that I guess so uh, very different than the Chinese market that I thought I was bringing you to Montana man Montana man who I originally thought was mountain man it is times like this that I wish I could speak the lingo so I know what they're talking about but Nini's after a high pressure water pump that will blast steaming hot water onto those hot barbecue tops you, you've seen that they sit on top of the um, tables at the restaurant and cook their food on top the half dome ones and then it's got the trough in around the outside where they put broth and cook their veggies and things in around that they are a pain in the ass to clean you know the girls are scrubbing there for hours each morning after they've soaked overnight and some of the other places do use the hot water pressure pumps it makes it easier so at the moment we are trying to get on top of this and find the easiest but still the best way to get this business flowing so they've all got them we're just going to go to a couple other places to compare prices and brands we're just up the road in a slightly different area. This is where we were able to track down a lawnmower. I'm really not giving you much info on the locale of the place, am I? Sort of I can find it on a map for you to pinpoint it if you are looking for some known brands and lawnmowers. Okay, here's the story, guys. Um, they are a lot more expensive there they are brands that you know but there's not just cheap Chinese ones we're heading home now to get one of these pot tops because there's no point in buying one if it's not going to blast that barbecued meat that gets stuck on the wire grills and the top of these plates off know what I mean and we're not going to know if it is going to clean it unless we test it so what we're going to do is go back to the restaurant grab one of these barbecue tops and bring it in and see if it actually works on it if it works on it cool we'll get one if it doesn't work we're not throwing our money away we'll have to come up with a different idea yeah so the fellow was giving us a demo then with one and it's twice as much as what it is in this Chinese place it's nearly two million kip where they started at 650,000 kip up to the bigger one was a million kip. A million kip is uh, just a tad over a hundred US dollars. And he was giving us a demo. Just gotta watch the traffic here because it's a free for all here. It's anything goes. And he was giving us a demo just on dirt on the side of the car and washing it off on tires that isn't burnt or burnt on crud from seafood and beef and pork on a barbie yeah you do not wash your car with a piece of steel wool for, for five minutes trying to get it off like you do a pot you with me Boy, what are you doing what are you doing i got nothing you could do with one of those bloody jet washes couldn't you this big fella lives up at this sign place just up there all right that's oh, it looks like they've washed all the pots no. just waiting to see what the next step is um everything's been cleaned up and i don't think don't think it's a good move going in there and buying one of these things if it's not going to work on these um, 
cooktops. Just checking out the dam, how much water we got in there. You know what I mean? What's the point of um, buying one of these things? Yeah, we could do it, use it for the car after we get back from the markets and that. But the point, it is mainly for to help the staff out who, who get stuck with having to wash the dishes. You know, especially these pots. The amount of people coming through the place now and the amount of pots that we've got just takes way too much time for them to be scrubbing these pots for 10-15 minutes apiece. And like I said, what's the point of buying one of these things if we can't test it out to make sure it actually works before we throw our money down the friggin' drain? Hey, but, like I said, it'd come in handy for this fella here. Hey, Rado. Rado's hanging for something like that. Look at it. You're a pig. All right, decision made. We're going to wait till we've got a dirty pot, probably go back tomorrow. Okay, but seems we cannot get those today. I will take his out to lunch to Joma. One of my favorite cafes here in Glencha. They're a Canadian owned franchise. We've got um, just your Vientian mixer there. Cop Jai De restaurant there. I'll bolt across the road while I can. And Joma is just here. Whenever I'm hanging for a good Farang sandwich, you cannot go past this place. And I usually get a park right out the front. used to be able to park along here we used to get stung with a bloody wheel clamp all the time now they've got a caution sign there about time as Nina over there I thought she was inside Sabadee hello Sabadee uh, I will get the usual Nini, which is the BLT up there. Do you expect to pay prices similar to what you used to at home? But it is uh, top quality food here. So the two BLTs and two mango shakes. 122,000 kip, so you're looking at 15 US, 20 Australian dollars. You'd pay that back home easy, but it is well worth it. And in no time, it is here. Your bacon, lettuce, tomato, sanger, fresh, pakea, is that how you say it? Pakea bread, and a salad, and a mango shake with paper straws for those who care. I had some water When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine at yeah. And if you're wondering what a Vientian mixer is guys it's probably what you would call the centre of the tourist district. This big bowl is a fountain with coloured pretty lights on it. They have uh, traditional dances and music and um, all these different restaurants around this little area that you sit outside and dine and be entertained hey zero kilometers ah oh, okay center where are you going the car's just here mate Well that's interesting, Nampu Park. Nini was just asked me do I know what zero kilometres means? My obvious answer was just it means right here but it is from this point that they measure so many kilometres to the north, so many kilometres to the south, so many kilometres to the 
east of Vanchen when they're measuring out in distance it is this point that they measure from never really given that any thought that there is a point people measure from in a city but that's a first thank you for that good little bit of information there Nina yeah. <laughs> Nampu Park there you go we've learned something today guys we are back in the electronics area looking for some more lights for the restaurant what's Nina found For peace, for the beautiful peace. <laughs> Feeding. Oh, right, yeah. yeah but it's not what we came here for, honey. No. No. Yeah. But I need this. Need this. Oh, okay, awnings. Where, where at, but? Where would you put that? In there, watching. Oh, okay, yeah. An awning we've just concreted off the back of the restaurant, a uh, new area for them to wash. I said we'd put a bench up there with huge sinks in it. No, no, they like to sit down on the ground and do it with big wash tubs and a little stool just sitting on the ground washing up. Okay, save on bench, save on big sink. Win win, I'm happy, they're happy. We're all happy. Okay, the lighting place. Just more of those stringed lights, the party lights. Not coloured, but that is above the eating areas. We're um, going to put some up on the second floor for emergency seating. Really not happy about having people sitting up there with the barbecues and the, the guys having to take hot coals up onto that building. Like the, the floor's okay, it's walking up and down those stairs with hot coals when you've got kids running around and that. Um, but we do have a back set of stairs that we can keep the kids away from and it's just for emergency seating anyway. Um, only when there is an overflow upstairs is we, we're not going to open until there is an overflow of people. If there's an overflow of people that's a good thing anyway it's just making it safe okay they have what you are after huh? they have what we're after okay just looks like any other lighting shop not much to see here guys. How many meters Nini? Okay for those who are interested we just got 40 meters of a length of string line and string lighting. I don't know what you call it. Lights on a line 40 meters that is comes out at three dollars a meter 18,000 three Aussie bucks a meter yeah so that's only just over $2.20 US a metre. So we've got 40 metres, so just over 80 bucks, 80, 90 dollars for 40 metres of lighting for the roof upstairs. How's that compare? Any leggos out there? Lighting guys? Sounds cheap to me. Now, hey, Quinton. Now there's a bike, dude. I could see you on that, man. Okay, guys, so that's it. We started out wanting um, water pressure pump. We ended up with a BLT and a string of lights. Thanks for coming along. Those uh, who have just stumbled upon my channel check out some of my other videos you like what you see hit the subscribe button and question have all you dudes hit my notification bell that way you will not miss out on any upcoming videos take care see you soon